<laughs> so, Jerry, tell us about your business. What, what, what is your business that you're in? When we're injection moulders and tool makers, um, have been in this business for probably over 25 years. I'm a tool maker by trade myself. Um, what sort of companies do you work for? What size? What industries? Typically, uh, customers, we, we do a lot of internal ticketing for Target. Uh, we supply gravity feed systems to SWEPs. Um, have some customers in the, in the mining industry. Um, a couple of our own proprietary products, as in compost bins. Uh, it's a fairly diverse range of stuff. <laughs> really? So how long you, have you had a business coach? About three years, yeah. uh, currently. And what was going through your mind when you decided to start working with a business coach? Uh, we had just landed a massive contract and I wasn't sure whether we were actually making any money out of it besides whether we could do it. Um, and, and our, our, our motivation for coaching revolved more around trying to get the work done uh, than, than trying to make more in profit, if you like. Okay. So what's happened to your business over those last three years since you've, uh, you've been working as a uh, coach? Massive changes. Um, we, we've, we, we've developed from a, a company, I think we employed probably 13 people when, uh, when we started coaching. We currently have 30. Uh, at one point we're up to 60 odd. So, you know, within a, within a three year period we've been, it, it has been massive, yeah. And how's your role changed in the business over that, that journey? <laughs> um, I used to be, typically I, I, I've done everything in this business from, from, from day one. I used to be the janitor. <laughs> um, Today, I, I'm more in, in a. Um, I don't really get involved in the day-to-day -day issues. Uh, concentrate more on making sure that we've got long-term prospects in place for work, uh, new work, new areas to look for work. Um, a, lot, a lot of different stuff to what I did with before we started coaching. <laughs> uh, what What do you think your business may have looked like if you didn't start the program? Uh, well, I'm not sure, but I, 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 we've had so much happen over the last few years. I, I guess uh, the, the biggest thing is, is getting us out of our comfort zone it was probably the biggest thing. Uh, we, we probably wouldn't have expanded to, to the level we have uh, without somebody pushing us along, if you like. <laughs> okay, so... Uh what, what other major changes have you had in your business? So how about, uh, for example, the uh, sales and acquiring business? How has that changed? Um, we, I guess, you know, three years ago, uh, our turnover would have been in the vicinity of one and a half, two million dollars. Um, last year, we, last financial year, we did eight. Really? Uh, so that, that was in a two year period we went from 1.5 to 8 um, as you will know yourself <laughs> that's been a fair, fair challenge yeah. and How hard was that to, to manage? All that uncertainty? All that oh, change? Yeah, it could be quite difficult but um, we we had a good team um, everybody's Everybody struggled, I guess, at, at, at some point, um, but we've, we've managed to, um, not only have we managed to do the work, uh, we, we recently, well, 12 months ago, not a, 10 months ago, lost 46% of our work to China. Uh, so we've, we've actively this year been trying to replace that. Um, we've, we've put on or started a sales um, division, if you like, uh, which from a manufacturer's point of view is not something that you would normally uh, normally do. Uh, we've looked in markets that you may not 
looking from uh, a manufacturing point of view as well. So, a lot of activity, and we want to get it back to ten million dollars or more. So, are you confident over the next next year you'll uh, you'll get back in the vicinity of that, that that ten million dollar goal? Yeah, yeah. Fantastic, Jared. Thanks very much for your time. Pleasure.